From the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield, it's time for Green Wave Hockey. Hello again, everybody. Franklin County Skate Doctor Lou Bordeaux here at Rinkside for today's right division rematch between our Greenfield Green Wave and the Belchertown Orioles. It's going to be a great game. We're going to get to the opening faceoff right after this. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Trevor Kosheski with his always awesome rendition of the Star Spangled Banner here at the Collins Moylan Arena. We're about ready for some hockey action today as the Green Wave square off against the Belchertown Orioles. There are some playoff implications here. Of course, the Green Wave playoff bound for the first time in five seasons. The Orioles really need to win out on the remainder of their season to have that same opportunity. 
After today, the Green Wave will have just one more regular season game. It'll be right back here at the Collins Moylan Arena next Wednesday morning. School vacation special at 11 a.m. Belchertown's got two more games remaining on their schedule. They're playing out in Worcester this Saturday night, February 17th, before finishing up their regular season next Wednesday in North Adams when they take on the Drury Blue Devils. Starting lineup for today for the Green Wave. Front line, Brian Bauman, Doug Hineski, and Evan Simmons. On D, Bryson Allen, Jordan, and between the pipes, Riley Drew. Another solid season for Riley this year. Currently sporting a 2.53 goals against average and an 8.90 save percentage. And we are ready for some hockey action here in Greenfield. FCAT Sports welcomes you to this contest. And for all our fans watching around the world on YouTube. Some body contact early on. Von Gillen works it up. Clearing attempt. Foiled by Hineski. Hineski with the puck works it up the half wall. We saw in the game a couple weeks ago Von Gillen for Belchertown. Definitely a hard worker out there. Sophomore forward. He's got a lot left in the tank. Puck wildly goes through the neutral zone. Picked up by Nate Pacheco. We called his name a lot a couple weeks ago. And the green wave recalibrate right off the bat. Got Greenfield cheerleaders here today. Festival atmosphere for this special 4.30 start. The late offside coming up. Green wave tag up. Kind of a feeling out process so far. We got our first whistle of the game. Minute and a half in. No big scoring opportunities just yet. Coach Adam Bouchard changes up the troops. Out comes Cassidy Wozniak. You see Sean O'Sullivan, Ethan LaFleur is now the forward line. A couple of cams, Cam Barnes, Cam Rice on D. It's a great season all the way around for these young people. Very, very proud to be associated with them. And once again, we've got Francis Nigro behind the net. Circling around. Little breakout pass. And a little extracurricular activity by Justin Pendrick of Belcher Town. Looks like he got the elbow up there on Cam Rice. Yeah, referee's going to call it roughing. Six of one, half dozen of another. Either way, Pendrick's going to sit for two. Green Wave, our first look at the power play today. Long clearing attempt. Riley Drew holding it for Jacob Bryant. Oh, another punishing hit behind the Greenfield net. I think Belchertown realizes that they've got to come out of here with two points today. Neske goes in, in the corner. Cody Lambert picks up, fires it down. Riley stops it. There goes Doug Neske over the blue line. Up by Evan Simmons goes wide. Oh, 
Saved by Ethan Reipold. We've seen a lot of rubber this year for the Orioles. Playing all but one period for them so far. Sophomore netminder. Michael Goldrick. Center ice takes a look. Dumps it in. Well, apparently there was a whistle. I certainly didn't hear it. But I've got a great headset on here, so it's entirely possible that I just missed it. Once again, you're watching Green Wave Hockey on Frontier Community Access Television, FCAT Sports. Cam Barnes with a puck behind the greenfield net. Takes a look. Being pestered by Alexander Velez of the Orioles. Bryce Jordan through the neutral zone. Once again, Belchertown. Manages to clear the puck. Justin Pendrick back on the ice. Teams are back at full strength. Cassie Wozniak with the clearing attempt. This gets a little bit too high, and we're going to get another line change here. 10.35 remaining in the first period here in Greenfield. Next to the last regular season game for the Green Wave. They'll be playoff bound. Certainly be looking forward to that. Going to draw. Brian Bauman wins it. Back up the boards to Dukineski. Over the red line, please. No, once again, stopped by Belchertown. Belchertown's D has looked really good so far. Early on, early on in this game. And that's going to be icing. A little smaller ice surface here in Greenfield than we had a couple weeks ago at the Mullen Center in Amherst. Belchertown pinching in. Greenfield certainly feeling that, uh, that smaller amount of real estate out there at this point. Bauman again wins the draw. And Simmons had it briefly, and there goes. Vineski and Simmons. Simmons with it. Off the post. Off the post for Evan Simmons. Long. Drive by Vaughn Gillen. Turned aside by Riley. Vaughn Gillen. There, holy cow. There was no missing that. I'm not wearing my striped shirt today, and I saw that. Well, I take that back. I am wearing my striped shirt today. Murphy's going to call that a hook. Going to be two minutes on freshman Matt Pacheco. Oh, we've got somebody going in on the greenfield side too. Doug Hineski. On ice strength is not affected, so we've got coincidentals out there. I didn't see what Hineski did. Not have been as egregious as that hook that Pacheco did. Well, we got Hineski for interference. So 
again, that does not affect the on ice strength here. And just still skating five aside. Belcher Town with the breakout. One clearing dunk by Andrew Markford. Mason Whiteman in that play. Nice breakup by Morel Petey. Morel certainly one of the hardest working players you're going to see. Back comes Bryce Jordan. Town zone. He's coming back this way, and we got another icing call. 7:34 remaining in the opening period, a 0-0 tie. I'm joined here by Trevor Kishesky, who did our national anthem today. Trevor, how you doing, buddy? Good. Nice job on the national anthem, as usual. We got one more game coming up. Are you going to be doing it again next week? All right, looking forward to it. All right, buddy. Green wave control just goes wide. O'Sullivan chasing. This line here, Fleur, O'Sullivan, and Wozniak, great combination. Breakout by Nate Pacheco went for the drop pass to Brian Pendrick. Couldn't couldn't connect. There's Sean O'Sullivan again. It's always tough when it's a one on five. Ron Gillen foiled. He's offside. Tags up though. Play goes onside. Bryce Jordan. Ooh. Tell you, Belchertown has brought the physical game with them today. Now we got another icing call. 6.34 remaining in the first period. Scoreless tie. Coach Matt Crutch's squad. Definitely not afraid to take the body today. And Brian Bauman lines up. The phone. Clearing attempt stopped at center ice. Doug Hineski gives it gives it the chase. He's down into the far corner with it. Evan Simmons gets in the midst of it. Hineski breaks free. Takes a look. Pass for Cam Barnes just went a little wide. Back down, Riley's got the puck. Holds it for Cam. Barn circles, drops it for Cam Rice. Nice clearing pass to Evan Simmons. What a save. What a save by Evan Re yeah, Ethan Reipold. Simmons had him dead to rights there. Goldrick clears up. Puck circles back. Belchertown making a quick change. Goldrick clears it up to Kyle Barnes. Again, those one on threes are very rare if you're going to win those battles. Kyle Barnes seeing plenty of ice time for a freshman. Goldrick over to Jacob Bryant. Puck bounces up into the Belchertown bench. Got another whistle. Face off at center ice. Score zero to zero. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. Well, 
Yeah, Sean O'Sullivan wins the draw. He goes unmarked. The floor couldn't quite connect. A lot of bodies out there, though. A lot of bodies right in front of that Belchertown net. Jacob Bryant stops it at the blue line. Cassie Wozniak almost had the deflection there. Puck comes back up. Bryant with it. Clears back into center ice. There goes O'Sullivan again. David Fright will up for Vaughn Gillen. Gillen's got it. Nice blocker save, Riley Drew. He didn't necessarily get a really good look at that one either. It wasn't screened, but there were certainly a maze of players there. Riley clears it up this way. Vaughn Gillen back after it. Jacob Bryant steps right into him. Oh! That's a goal. David Friedenberg. Came right across center, the center zone. And Vaughn Gellin put the puck right on his stick. He went top shelf. There was no doubt about that one. Belchertown taking the one to nothing lead. We've got 342 remaining in the first period. It's been rare this season that uh, the Green Wave have dug themselves a hole. Not that 1 to 0 is the end of the world, but Belchertown definitely came to play today. Francis Nigro gets one deflected over the net. Evan Simmons breaks over to the right wing. Saved by the pole. Look for the centering attempt. Puck was just over Brian Bauman's stick. And back over to the center ice area. Bryce Jordan. D looking to change, and I guess they're not going to. Belgian goal scored by number 17, Matt Pacheco, assisted by number 22, Nate Pacheco, and number 9, Vaughn Gillen. Excuse me, the roster I had said 17 is David. Friedenberg, but it is Matt Pacheco. Matt Pacheco, a name we called a lot a couple weeks ago. Matt's got a lot going for him as a freshman forward for the Orioles. A little back and forth, making the goal trick. Up into the Belchertown zone. Ethan Reipold steers it aside. He went to take a whack at a bouncing puck. That's never a good thing. Up the half wall. Kyle Barnes. He's got it on his twig. Little knuckleball. Reipold got his glove on it. Almost caught him going to the wrong side of the net there. Puck comes back this way. No ice. And we're down to a minute and a half remaining in the first period of play. Belcher Town with a one to nothing lead. On the goal by Matt Pacheco. That's Matt's 12th goal of the season. Mason Whiteman moves the puck into the neutral zone. Mikey McGoldrick again clears it up into the Belchertown zone. Green Wave on a change though. Jacob Bryant steps in to break that one up. Ron Gillen. He is pesty out there. Pesty, I say. That's a sign of a good hockey player. Clearing attempt by Jacob Bryant. Tipped by Bauman. From behind the Belchertown goal line. Kaneski working the puck. Works around this side of the cage. He's not going anywhere. Down under a minute remaining. Belchertown with a 1 0 lead. Rypold covers with 38 seconds to go. And for the most part, Greenfield has been stopped in their tracks in this one. Coach Adam Bouchard, assistant coach Mike Duplos, Corey Lovett, 
Tim Petra, and they're going to put their thinking caps on during our upcoming intermission. Perhaps change the game plan for the second stanza. Bryce Jordan didn't know he had it. Left it for Hineski. Hineski clears in. Behind the Belcher Town net. Cody Lambert with it. Clears it up. Bryce Jordan, we're down to 15 seconds. Puck off the glass. Oh, Evan Simmons with just three seconds had a chance to put that one home. And the first period of play comes to an end with the Belchertown Orioles leading this one one to zero. Green Wave are going to have to recalibrate during this upcoming intermission. And we're going to be back with more Green Wave hockey in just a moment. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you. Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. We've got 1349 remaining in the second period of play. Belchertown Orioles leading the Green Wave by a score of one to nothing. Play comes into the neutral zone. A little bingo bango bongo going on in the Greenfield defensive zone. Cam Barnes clears up, going nowhere. Ethan LaFleur. That was Justin Pendrick of Belchertown swinging at it with a high stick. A little body contact right in front of us. Ooh, and Pendrick dangerously played that one in front of his own cage. Chris Buffon getting the stick up on Cassie Wozniak a little bit. And Jacob Ryan, long clearing attempt. Ethan Reipold had to be ready for that one. Justin Pendrick has it behind the net. Nice four checking there by Brian Bowman. Good effort by Jacob Ryan keeping it in the offensive zone, and it comes out. Mikey McGoldrick back and forth. Doug Hineski with it. Play comes onside. Jacob Ryan with a nice blast from the point. Turned aside by Reipold. 
Leipold was the busier of the two netminders in that first session with Belchertown out shooting the Green Wave 9-5. Puck skitters through the neutral zone. Evan Simmons tried to make the play. Then Doug Hineski with it. Now back the other way, Vaughn Gillen sets up Nate Pacheco. Just as quick, it's coming back this way. Oh, Doug Hineski. Got it under rifle, but not lined up. Brian Bauman with it. Oh, and it's in! Doug Hineski shoots and scores! Doug Hineski from Brian Bauman. You're not going to ask for a prettier goal than that. He had all day to line that one up. Hineski picked his spot on that one. And just like that, this hockey game is tied. That is Dougie's 10th goal of the season. Just that quick, it's back into the Belchertown zone. Riley Drew, busy down at that end of the rink now. Evan Simmons continuing to eclipse that 100 point mark in his high school career. 100 point scores don't come along every day. Evan Simmons has just been fabulous these last four years for the Green Wave. It's been a great, a great contribution to the team. He'll be missed, but Coach Bouchard, Coach Bouchard always has something in the pipeline. And this Green Wave squad even when there's some adversity, they manage to rally and turn the wave in their tide. Is that even possible? Face off down to the left of Ethan Reipold. Kyle Barnes on the draw. Looking to take out Chris Buffone on that one. But nobody was home. Buffone in chase. Alec Jordan. Gains control behind Riley. Francis Nigro keeps the puck in at the blue line. Kind of takes a wild whack at it. Puck back on this side. And there goes Kyle Barnes. Puck was just too far in front of him. He couldn't really connect on that one. And the end-to-end -end action continues here. Had Bryce Jordan in the midst of it for a minute. Uh-oh! Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, baby! Justin Pendrick lost control, and it looked like it could have been a breakaway for Greenfield, but just managed to take the diving swipe at it. Here comes the goal scoop. Well, uh, Brian Bauman thought it was Doug Hineski for a minute. Both of them have that silky lettuce going on. Evan Simmons back to Bauman, back to the point. Cam Barnes with a quick behind the back. Oh, Evan Simmons centered and Dougie Hineski couldn't get his stick on it. Oh! Brian Bauman for, for a terrific forward. He was not afraid to play the body either. Belchertown in control behind the Greenfield goal line right now. That's Chris Buffone with it. Looks it up the half wall. Dumped back in quickly by Cody Lambert. Long clearing attempt. Just goes wide of Ethan Reipold. That's icing. We've got 8.30 remaining in the second period. Scores tied at 1-1 one -one on that Doug Hineski goal. 
as I said earlier, Greenfield outshot Belchertown nine to five in the first period. Kind of a feeling out process. And at this point, looks like the teams have both got their legs under them. I think we're going to be in for a barn burner second half of this contest. Jacob Bryant giving chase behind Riley Drew. Little stick work in that far corner. Bryant and Matt Pacheco. Mikey McGoldrick gets into it. Pacheco steps on McGoldrick's stick, goes down. Warren Gillen lost control to Cassie Wozniak. Cassie's got it into the offensive zone. Just like that, back the other way. But Gillen, holy cow. Got off a sniper of a shot. Bryant took that. He's not doing well. Van Netting couldn't quite see where it hit him. Could have been in the chest, you know, just where the shoulder pads don't quite cover the chest. We'll have to keep an eye on Jacob Bryant, see if he returns. Belchertown takes control. Bryce Jordan with the puck. Here comes Bauman. Bauman's got Simmons on the wing. Oh, he scores! Brian Bauman! No pass necessary on that one. Brian Bauman gives the Green Wave a two to one lead. What a shot that was. Brian Bauman, what an opportunity. He made the most of it. Foley Rifle never had a chance. I'm going to give Dougie Hineski an assist on that one. And that's just a reverse of the first goal. And Hineski scored on the assist from Bauman. Another big productive day for the Green Wave. Mason Whiteman in over the blue line takes a look. Kyle Barnes couldn't quite get his stick on it. Delayed offside. Green Wave get back onside. Puck loose in the neutral zone. That's Nathan Ayers with it for Belcher Town. He clears up. Once again, Juan Gillen right in the middle of it for the Orioles. Kyle Barnes on Von Gillen. Very close on that blue line. That's Cody Lambert on the point for Belchertown. Here comes Bauman again. Cody Lambert got nothing but glass on that. Oh, big, big hit by Evan Simmons. Referee calls Simmons for interference. That puck was right there. I don't know how that's interference. Bryce Jordan over to give Nux to Simmons. And the way I understand it, the puck is there. Everybody's in play. Referee didn't see it that way and I don't have a whistle with me today, folks. Belchertown on the power play. Doug Hineski.
Belchertown circling back. Francis Nigro through the center ice area. He's stopped by Hineski, who dumps it deep. Ethan Rypold. Once again, Hineski dumps in. Minute 20 remaining on the Belchertown power play. 5.06 remaining in the second period. Greenfield leading this one 2 to 1. You got the skate doctor, Lou Bordeaux, here at Rinkside with Collins Moylan Arena. More green wave hockey action. Only one game remaining in the regular season. I know some of you, oh, Riley Drew. Flashing the glove out there. That one was labeled. You, know, you may be watching us on YouTube during the summer here on FCAT Sports. Hopefully it's 75 and sunny wherever you are. I can tell you that on February 15th it's cold and it's drizzly and rainy here in the fine city of Greenfield. Nice and chilly inside the Collins Moylan Arena. Riley swallows that one up. Had a good look at that one. Cody Lambert firing from the point. Riley gets the leg pad on that one. Puts the pillow on it, as my friend Mike Kelly used to say. Mike Kelly, former voice of the Springfield Falcons, now in the ECHL with the Florida Everblades. Cody Lambert circles behind the cage. Stopped in his tracks. Belchertown's got 15 seconds remaining on the power play. Nate Pacheco centers it. Once again, Riley Drew turns it aside. Penalty's over. Teams are back at five aside. Devin Simmons comes out of the box. He's right back on the ice. Play is still deep in the Greenfield zone. And here comes Evan. He loves to sweep up that right side. Oh! Whoa, what a save. My goodness. Ethan LaFleur Flowers. We'll be seeing that one in his sleep. He had all day and a little bit longer. Evan Simmons went tape to tape with him. Ethan Reipold, equal to the task there. Swallowed it right up. Slow whistle on that one. Wozniak centers it. Back to the point. A little bing bang boom out there right now. Alex Velez couldn't get the stick on it. Once again, Riley swallows that one from the blue line. It was not going to be much of a threat there at all, but still. Riley's there, he's standing tall. We got 2.51 remaining in the second period. Greenfield leads 2-1. to one. You're watching FCAT Sports. Brian Bauman on the draw. Gets it up the half wall to Haneski. How many times have we seen this? There's Dougie, he's got Evan Simmons. Evan was trailing the play. Would have been a little thread the needle pass to get to him. Kineski went for the shot and he was stopped by Rypold. Loose puck. Nathan Ayers on it. Simmons has it. Oh, what a save. Oh, 
And that's what makes that 100-point scorer out there. Evan Simmons has that lethal quick release. You can't give him any open ice whatsoever. We've got 221 remaining in the second period. Green Wave leading 2-1. Dutton-Hineski played that one off the glass, and the referee said that he closed his hand on it to put it down on his stick rather than bat it down. <laughs> Little conference going on as to where that faceoff should be. Well, the referee made the original call. He was going to have the faceoff back to the right side of Riley Drew, but after a little conference, faceoff's going to be right outside the Belchertown blue line. And I think we got everything ready to go here. 2.15 remaining in the second period. Bauman wins the draw. Hineski, and it's back to McGoldrick, who dumps it in. Ron Dillon takes out Bauman. We see Cam Rice is paired with Mikey McGoldrick now. We still haven't seen Jacob Bryant return, so hopefully he's going to be okay and ready for action in the third period. I'm going to try and do a little research for you. And Drew covers the puck. Minute 45 remains. Jacob Bryan over on the bench is kind of flexing his left hand. He might have gotten that hand up to block a shot. He's on the front line of the bench. I think he's going to be okay. Puck bounces back out into the neutral zone. Going to be offside here. Andrew Mugford. Dumped it in. Goes around the backboards. Oh, nice move. Nice move by Cody Lambert. Looking to put the puck on Vaughn Gillen's stick and just missed him. Vineski breaks in. Shot goes wide of Ethan Rypold. Oh! Two amazing players. That one, he'll get credit for his save, but I think that puck hit him. Sometimes right place, right time, and that was certainly it. We've got 105 remaining in the second period. Two to one, Greenfield on top. This has been turned into a great hockey game. I'm really looking forward to the third period. And if you're watching us on YouTube, hit pause because you don't want to miss a second of it while you go get your snacks. Kyle Barnes and Laurel Petey. Battling over that puck. Barnsey with it. Orell's got it. Goldrick winds up. And there's Jacob Bryant's back on the ice. That's good to see him. Puck was blocked by Cody Lambert. Goldrick takes the body nicely. Mason Whiteman had it. Just unfortunately, Puck was in his skates, put himself offside. Down to 31 seconds remaining. Face off at the Belchertown blue line. Greenfield first line back out there with 30 seconds to go. Rypold turns that one harmlessly away. Maneski with it. Back to Bauman. Oh, it's blocked in front. Bauman again. Oh, a quick whistle. Holy cow. we got 12 seconds left. Looked like goalie Rypold just blocked that one down. The referee gave him the quick whistle, and that's okay, it happens. Mineski with a nice shot from the high slot. Jake 
Micah Bryan unleashes one from the point as the second period comes to a close. Two periods in the books here at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. The Green Wave lead this one two to one. We're going to be back with third period action in just a moment. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. And welcome back to the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. We Bordeaux here at Rinkside. Third period action underway. Two to one in favor of the Green Wave. Doug Hineski got that one started with a shot wide to the left. Goalie Ethan Reipold freezes that one for Belchertown. He's been a busy guy today. Shots on goal in that second period. Greenfield 11, Belchertown 7. Two period totals for the Green Wave 20. And for the Orioles, an even dozen. That puck goes up into the net. Got another stoppage. That's two stoppages the first 20 seconds of play. Third period, 2-1 to one in favor of the Green Wave. And a quick change by Coach Adam Bouchard. Had a chance to talk to Coach Bouchard earlier. He's, uh, he's setting the bar high for his team. We'll put it that way. Well, I'd say this is a little bit like a chess match in the first minute here, but it's more like a checker game. Things are just jumping all over the place. Third faceoff in the first 30 seconds of the period. I'd like to thank our friends from Frontier Community Access Television, FCAT Sports, bringing you the best in local sports action. And for those of you watching around the world on YouTube, welcome. Welcome to Greenfield. Belchertown with a nice, nice move in over the blue line there. No luck. Cam Barnes attacked by one of those ice gophers there. Justin Pendrick pinches in deep for the Orioles. Cam Rice, nice behind the back up to Cassie Wozniak. Oh, that was a nice play. Sometimes those no looks are dangerous, but I think Cam knew exactly what he was doing there. Buck bounces in wide. Cam Barnes now. Two cams are back together. Takes a look. Circles around for Ethan LaFleur. Pacheco strips the puck. But here goes Evan Simmons. Jacob Bryant kept that one in, got a nice shot off, just deflected wide. Bryant blocks it into the corner. Back up the boards, Nathan Ayers with it. Oh! Evan Simmons sneaks in behind him. Didn't even know he was there. Mike McGoldrick up for Nate Dugganeski. Brian Bauman after it. There goes Dougie. He's got some open ice. Oh! Still managed to get a nice attempt off. Meanwhile, over on the far side, there's a running 
running, jumping check by Cody Lambert. Completely uncalled for. We've got a green wave player down on the ice. It's Mason Whiteman down. Yeah, he was not expecting to be hit over there. Green Wave Medical trainer Jamie Kaufman over there, Kaufman with him. Doesn't look like there was any penalty called on that play. Although I've seen calls for worse. Or I should say calls for not as bad. While they're tending to Mason Whiteman, we're going to take a short pause. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. And welcome back to the Collins Moreland Arena in Greenfield. Jimmy Coffin helping Mason Whiteman off the ice, along with players, Morel PD, Bryce and Alec Jordan, the Bushwhackers. Take a look at Mason. He's over there in the front row. Holy cow. We didn't see that one coming. All right, referee plays back underway here. Belchertown clears in deep. And Bryce Jordan with it. Breakout Hineski over to Simmons. He's wide. He scores! Evan Simmons! What a feed from Dougie Hineski. Beat Ethan Reithold clean. Time to do the chicken dance, friends. Beautiful pass from Doug Hineski over to Evan Simmons. There was no doubt about it. Greenfield takes the three to one lead. Laid offside. Everybody tags up. We're good to go. Back in the offensive zone. Simmons again. Out Jordan. Simmons working behind the cage. Got two Orioles on him. Oh, some shenanigans there. And the referee's going to call Simmons, I think. Calling Simmons for a cross check. Not happy about it at all. That one could have gone either way. Von Gillen was involved. And it looks like we've got a timeout on the ice with 11.15 remaining in the third period. Green Wave lead 3-1. to one. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. All right, welcome back to the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. Lou Bordeaux at rinkside. Belchertown going on the power play with Evan Simmons in the box for a cross check. 
Jacob Bryant gets that one. Rifles it all the way around. Goes down into the Belcher Town Belcher Town zone. I used to live there. I should know the name of the place. Mikey Goldrick rifles it back in. That's Nathan Ayers with it. Nathan Ayers with some open ice. Finds Matt Pacheco, who scored the, scored the goal earlier for the Orioles. Easy for me to say. Cody Lambert made a nice block at the point, but he dropped it right onto the stick of Orel Petey. Nice block by McGoldrick, and he clears down. Just about a minute left on the Belchertown power play. Green Wave lead this one three to one. Ten minutes to go in the third period. Jacob Bryant with it. Good to see him back on the ice. Ethan Lafleur. Some nice stick handling through the through the neutral zone. Back down behind the Belchertown net. They're recalibrating. Nate Pacheco moves up to Chris Buffone. That Von Dillon, excuse me. Buck through the feet of the referee. Place called for the intentional offside. Faceoff is all the way down to the left of Ethan Rifle. Nine minutes and 30 seconds remain in the third period. Green Wave lead this one three to one. 15 seconds remaining on the Evan Simmons penalty for cross-checking. Bauman wins it to Hineski. Blockers. Blocker saved by Rifle. And that aside with authority. Nathan Ayer circles through. Blocked by Bauman. Bauman dragging the puck. Penalty's over. Off the skate of Simmons going into the Belchertown zone once again. Bauman cycling. That was Chris Buffon getting in the way of that one. Down under nine minutes remaining in the third period. Belchertown has to feel a sense of urgency here. Because those last eight and a half are going to flip off that clock quicker than they can figure. Jacob Bryant, the puck magnet, takes one in the shoulder. It's not been a good day to be him. He'll be in the sauna tonight. Cody Lambert. Ryan intercepts, gets it up to Cassie Wozniak, who clears into the Belchertown zone. No icing on the play, back over to Chris Buffone. Cleared in into center ice, but uh, his forward, Francis Nigro, looking the other way. Alexander Velez behind the green, oh! Behind the greenfield cage, and we're gonna get a penalty here. Kind of an awkward hit on Mikey McGoldrick by Chris Buffon. Referee signals interference on that one. So with 7.45 remaining in the third period, the Green Wave are going on the power play. And of course, you know, that means the trio of Simmons, Bauman, and Hineski are back there. On the points are Mikey McGoldrick, Jacob Bryant, Goldrick with the puck. Works it in deep. Simmons to Bauman. Back to Bryant. Jacob takes a look. Bounces it off the half wall. Oh! Bryant through a maze. Nice pressure at the start of this power play. Nate Pacheco stuck. He's all by himself. In on Riley Drew. What a save by Drew. 
Nice save. Another save there for Riley. Hey, Pacheco had just snuck in behind Goldrick and Bryant. Nobody knew he was there, and the puck bounced free to him. Simmons got his stick on that one. No icing. He's going in chase. Sean O'Sullivan. Bryce Jordan just misses the net. Got Bryce out there with, uh, with Jacob Bryant now. Back the other way. Nate Pacheco. He has been a pest in this shorthanded opportunity for the Orioles. Really, really smart hockey by the senior out of Belchertown. So with 37 seconds remaining in the Greenfield power play, faceoff is back to Riley Drew's left. Sean O'Sullivan lined up with Francis Nigro. O'Sullivan wins. Over to Flowers and back down to Bryce Jordan. Feeds it over to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan with a head of steam. A lot of open ice there. Suddenly he's back down behind the Belchertown cage. Puck is loose. Comes back this way. Bryce Jordan just misses. Cam Barnes pinching in. Nicely done. Stray elbow there. Bryce Jordan keeps it in. He's got it back to O'Sullivan. Again, O'Sullivan looks. No look for Cam Barnes. Barnes back over to Jordan. High pole. Flashes the leather. Gets that left pad on. Kicks it aside. Teams are back at full and equal strength. Five and a half to go in the third period. Green Wave lead this one three to one. Going to be a wild last five minutes, fans. Puck is high off the glass. Bounced in. Green Wave over. Oh, puck is loose. And it's loose again. That was nearly the fourth goal for the Green Wave. Ethan Reipold did the head first dance out to get that one. Joined up here in the broadcast position by a lot of Franklin County Hockey Association kids. We've got some mites, we've got some squirts, we've even got a bantam with us tonight. Down to five minutes remaining. Matt Pacheco, oh! Fed Vaughn Gillen couldn't get the lumber on it. Jacob Bryant, steady as a rock on defense this season, as a freshman. Simmons, once again that quick release. Reichold equal to the task. And a tic-tac-toe to get in deep there. Nate Pacheco again. Puck is loose. Simmons in pursuit. Leipold with a clearing attempt. Simmons also had his hand, almost had his hand on that, I should say. Comes back this way. Jacob Bryan is right there. No soup for Cody Lambert. Bauman. Made a nice clearing attempt. Belcher Town player got his stick right under the skate. No doubt about that trip. So with 4.05 remaining in the third period, the Green Wave are going on yet another power play. As it looks like Chris Buffon. No, I take it back. That's Von Gillen, I believe. We'll get the announcement in just a moment. But sometimes that's aggressive hockey. The team is down by two goals late in the game like that. You have to really make the play for that puck every opportunity you get. Yeah, we've got another timeout on the ice. So with 4.05 remaining in the third period, Green Wave leading this one three to one over the Belchertown Orioles, about to go on the power play. Just want to thank you for being with us today from the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield, Massachusetts. And you're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports.
And welcome back to the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield, Massachusetts, USA. We got 4.05 remaining in the third period. Green Wave on the power play. Jacob Bryant at the point. Works it into Dougie Hineski. Back to Bryant. Bryant with a wrist to row. Brian Bauman holds his head. Couldn't quite get the good composite. I won't say wood anymore. Couldn't get the good composite on that one. The carbon fiber failed him. Goldrick dumps it in. It's off the glass behind the cage. Belchertown in control. Puck comes the length of the ice. Battle of the 22s. Jacob Bryant, Nate Pacheco. Meanwhile, puck back. Oh, Evan Simmons just offside on that one. Minute 23 remaining in the Belchertown penalty. And ended up being to Vaughn Gillen for the trip. That Vaughn Gillen is one heck of a hockey player. He's a sophomore, so we're going to see him for a while yet. Three twenty-eight remaining in the third period. Oh, like a train wreck! Holy cow! Doug Hineski, a lot of open ice on his power play. Circles back. He's hauled down. This is going to be another penalty on Belchertown. Hooking is going to be that call. Suddenly we've got a five on three advantage for the Green Wave. 309 remaining. Three to one lead. Green Wave can put this one away here. Five on three advantage, only 3.09 remaining in the third period. Brian Bauman on the draw. Back to the point, Jacob Bryant. Gets it in, oh, it's loose. It's in a little too close to the goalie. Now I know I've been calling that uh, goaltender Ethan Reipold all day. That's the way he was introduced earlier, but I'm looking at his uniform, he's number 31. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is not Jake Delaney over there. Got Ethan listed as number 30 on my roster. So if I've been wrong all day, I apologize. I don't think I am, though. Hineski, oh, over to Simmons. Couldn't number quite get penalty, his wood on it. Number 20, Cody two minutes for hooking. Referee's going a little whistle crazy now. We got Dougie Hineski whistled on a hook. So now with the score three to one, there's 2.49 remaining in the third period. Belchertown's got two men in the box. Doug Hineski joins them in the Greenfield side. We're gonna have some four on three hockey here. A lot of open ice. Anything can happen when it's four on three. Even my friend Alec knows that, even if he's yawning. Belchertown with it. Riley gets a blocker on it. Deflects it away. This is almost like a practice drill when you got this few guys on the ice. Jacob Bryan, he's got to be getting tired now. Bowman with it. Bowman wheels in. Plenty of open ice. He circles back. He's got Evan Simmons out front of the cage. Mikey McGoldrick back over to Bryant. Jacob Bryant. Wrist shot blocked by Belchertown. Ooh, Bryant. Bowman got the good carbon fiber on that one. Oh, Evan Simmons! Evan Simmons with a goal! He was camped out just to the right of Ethan Reipold. And what a beautiful tip in that was. A mouth guard on that one. Well, 
Well, we're back to four on four hockey now. Face off at center ice. Goldrick tips it back up to Bauman. Bauman got bit by one of those Collins Boylan ice gophers at the blue line. Been a rough ice surface here for quite some time. Of course, you could argue that it's rough for both teams. Get Mikey McGoldrick an assist on that fourth green wave goal. Second of the day for Evan Simmons. Nice clear lane into Riley Drew. We're down to a minute 20 remaining in this one. Greenfield now with a commanding 4 to 1 lead. Teams are still skating at 4 aside. It's Nate Pacheco from the point. Drew flashes the leather. Nice pad save. Reminiscent of Ben Bishop of the Dallas Stars with that one. Juan Gillen looking to get deep in the zone. Alex Velez. Gillen back over to the point. Sandy Mugford with it. Ooh, sticks getting up high there. Keep them down, guys. Belchertown's net is empty. As I said earlier, they needed those two points today. Oh! Cody Lambert, freshman, made the save on that one. Alec Jordan rifles one in. No icing on the play. We're down to 14 seconds. This is going to be another big W for the Green Wave. We go to 13, 4, and 2 on the season overall. There you go. That's it. That's it. Players are on the ice. They surround goaltender Riley Drew as well. They should. Riley was a busy man today. I don't have the statistics in front of me for Belchertown, but I think that may eliminate them from any contention for the postseason. Green Wave, they certainly are going to the postseason. If you happen to catch this game on FCAT Sports or on YouTube before Wednesday, February 21st. The Green Wave will be back in action for one more home game next Wednesday morning, right here at the Collins Moylan Arena, 11 a.m. faceoff against Amherst. You don't want to miss that one. So as the teams shake hands at center ice, I want to say thank you for tuning in. If you're watching us worldwide on YouTube, Hope you've enjoyed the telecast. My name is Lou Bordeaux. I'm the Franklin County Skate Doctor saying so long from rinkside.